If you are looking to run queries on data not already part of public or shared data sets, you must first load your data into BigQuery. BigQuery accepts data in several formats. This video will cover how to load data from a CSV file on your local machine into BigQuery using the web UI. This process requires a Google Cloud Platform project with billing enabled. Within your project, you may take advantage of the Google Cloud free tier and bypass costs by staying within the tier limits for cloud storage and BigQuery. Loading data into BigQuery via the web UI can be done two ways, first by loading the data directly from your local machine, or second by using Google Cloud Storage as an intermediary. Direct uploads from your computer using the BigQuery web UI are limited to 10 megabytes. For this reason, this video will focus on loading data into BigQuery by way of Google Cloud Storage, which doesn't have this limit. Get started in the BigQuery web UI. Identify the dataset to which you would like to add the new table. If using an existing dataset, note the data location. The data location will be needed in a future step. If you need to create a new dataset, do so now. To create a new dataset, select the project name in the left-hand nav and then click the Create Dataset button. Name the dataset, choose the dataset location, and then click Create Dataset. The new dataset will shortly appear in the left-hand nav. Next, navigate to Cloud Storage by typing Storage into the search bar in the console. When you arrive, click the Create Bucket button. Name your bucket, then choose the location. You must choose a location for your Cloud Storage bucket in the same region as the location of the BigQuery dataset. The bucket can be either a multi-regional bucket or a regional bucket in the same region as the dataset. One exception, you can load data in a US-based dataset from any region. Since you are creating this bucket for the sole reason to transfer the data into BigQuery, save on egress charges by choosing the exact same location as your destination dataset in BigQuery. In this demo, that is multi-region US. Choose the standard storage class, then click Create. Now, you may click the Upload Files button to select the file you want to upload, or simply drag the file from your desktop onto the Google Cloud Storage browser. Once the upload finishes, navigate back to the BigQuery web UI. Select your dataset and click Create Table. Choose Google Cloud Storage as your source. Click Browse double-click on the storage bucket, and select your data object. The file format should update automatically. Provide a table name. You can either provide the schema details or click the box to auto-detect the schema. At this time, you may choose to partition and cluster your data. A video outlining the hows and whys of partitioning and clustering is linked in the video description below. If your CSV file has a header row, display the advanced options and add the number of header rows in the Header Rows to Skip field. There are also several other options you can choose, including alternative field delimiters based on your file. Now click Create Table. A load job will be created. When the job finishes, you can view the table schema, details, and a preview of the data. Now your table is ready to be queried. Click Query Table and a preloaded query statement will appear in the Query Editor, which you can begin editing directly. Before diving into the data, consider if you would like to delete the file you originally loaded into Google Cloud Storage. Depending on your situation, it can also be useful to keep it as a backup. Both Cloud Storage and BigQuery Storage have separate pricing, so be sure to review the pricing documentation linked below. Thanks for watching and happy analyzing.